Watch how unusual Warren Buffett's response was when he was asked why he sold almost his entire stake in Taiwan Semiconductor in an interview earlier today. I do think that that uh, they, there is a danger there to some. I don't have any idea. There's actually a danger of seismic action. I mean, and and and, and, and where they're located, but that's a low probability. And they, you know, they they're smart people. That, I saw this live and it struck me as odd because I don't think I've ever seen Buffett bounce around a question like that, let alone one asking him about what's behind his decision to sell billions of dollars worth of a company. Now stick with me. I was about to forget about this until this afternoon when I came across Senator Tuberville's latest trades and saw that he purchased put contracts on the same company that Warren Buffett was asked about selling, Taiwan Semiconductors. And if you don't know, put contracts are a way to bet against a company. Now this is a huge red flag because the company that we're talking about is Taiwan Semiconductor, the largest computer chip manufacturer in the world, and one of the main reasons why the US and China are threatening to go to war over Taiwan. The US has already signaled that if China did try to invade Taiwan, that they would literally blow up the semiconductor facilities on the island, and move the engineers to the US rather than let China get its hands on the technology. So to cut to the point, I'm not trying to fear monger, but when I see one of the best investors of all time abruptly selling billions in Taiwan Semiconductor stock and not giving a clear answer as to why, along Watch for earthquakes. Good afternoon, everyone. Here is a second video for the day. And you know when we are releasing multiple videos in the day that things are truly heating up around our world. I started to get reports in about maybe 72 hours ago from individuals that say they're in the military and they provided some level of verification of that military status. We had other people come in and say, look at these screenshots from uh, text messages that they were having with their family members who are in the military. We have warnings in multiple areas of our armed services right now that we are going to be at war with China, not in two years, like the general of the United States military said recently, but within the next six months. In fact, Iran is supplying China with kamikaze drones that they expect them to use on Taiwan and on American aircraft that will be fighting against the Chinese Navy. We have warnings coming into Congress from all levels of the military and the uh, uh, service people that now work in the strategist department of the public sector. And they are saying that we are at a dangerous point in our time right now. Now, this is, of course, concerning for you and me, because this is you want to talk about people warning about doom and gloom. You want to talk about people saying that, uh, you know, it's the end of the world. Guys, a war with China is literally the end of the world that you knew. Every store that you go to, whether it's a hair salon, a dentist, a doctor's office, a car repair shop, Walmart, a grocery store, Kroger, wherever you're going, a huge percent, more than half of the goods inside of that store are coming from China. It's in the Chinese government directive to not supply goods to a country that they are at war with. That means that as soon as the United States steps in to hold on to Taiwan, because they must, if the United States of America and the open Indo-Pacific version of NATO, that's the American allies, do not hold on to Taiwan, they will lose South Korea. They will lose Japan. They will lose everything in a entire basically half of the world let me tell you the people in power right now are not willing to let go of the grasp they have on the world's economy there's two things that a government and politicians want out of life they want to get more money and they want to gain more power they never want to lose money and they will never accept losing power and just like those old words talking about removing the second, uh, you know, the amendments from the, uh, the hands of the American people, taking the so-called projectile weapons out of the hands of the American people and those very strong words.